here to get justice for the counselor. You'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, source hunters. Hey, welcome back, guys. One-Eyed Sniper here. We are at the end of time. We've already talked to uh, Zixax and the Weaver of Time, exhausted their dialogue. Uh, I want to check this chest, and then we'll get out of here. What lies at its heart? I am the last chest. The last chest. The last chest. If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it. Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world, and each by each, you'll discover how to open me. Okay, so we got kind of like a long quest here. Um, basically, throughout the entire game, we're going to look for four different chests, one in each of the realms. Uh, and then we'll be able to open this one. So, uh, I actually never opened this, so I don't know what's in there. So that'll be cool. All right, let's uh, get out of here. So we're going to use the Rift Travel. And before we do that, for anyone not familiar with the end of time, there's basically a ass ton of portals here, uh, none of which are active at this point. Uh, so as we gather Starstone, that'll take us back to the Zigzags' area. But as we gather Starstone, these will start becoming available. So I haven't actually never gotten all of them done. I've gotten a lot of them, but not all of them. So that'll be cool to figure out what those are, where they go to. Alright, so Rift Travel, now we can basically head to any Waypoint Shrine that we've activated. So let's head to uh, Northgate. Because I want to go check out the... Uh, back at the tavern again. Uh, finish exploring that room. Okay, we can talk to each other. And it looks Source like hunters. our who wants to talk to us. I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. I guess. I know the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzax, let us turn to the business at hand. Uh, let us do so in- Stone. Oops. Let us do so indeed. I would greatly value Zigzax's agent's advice. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Counselor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. How did you find out Jake was a Starstone collector? While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The advantage of being a cat, you know. You go where you please with impunity. And... Sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of star stones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. Okay, so Jake was collecting star stone, but he only had like pieces of it. Um, why is it so particularly nice for us to have found a shelter somewhere? It seems like a stupid question, but all right. Don't we all long for a sanctuary where our worldly troubles can be held at bay? A bed or a basket so snug it becomes, in a word, safety. I mean, that is true, So, But perhaps I speak only for myself, not for veterans such as yourselves that by necessity call any patch of ground they rest upon home. Like you just called us vagabonds. Like any cat worth its salt, though, I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance. 
say of it all too seldomly. I wonder, do you put absolute credence in the words of Zigzags? Time, void, the looming end. Let me phrase it like Zigzags might. A universe without time is like a pen without ink. A pointless instrument stripped of the potential of creation. It is void. It is death. It is... nothing. I'll not pretend to have all the answers, all that I understand, all that is happening here and out there among the stars, but I do know I'd rather err on the side of caution. Fair enough. If Zigzags worries, I worry. We are talking about a creature, after all, that has reclined among the divines as nonchalantly as you and I lays beside the hearths of home. How did you become Zigzags' agent? I met him first, a long time ago, out in the wastes of Uthal Gore. He wondered aloud what on earth a cat was doing out there in the scorching desert, then shared what little food and water he had with him. So I told him who I was and showed him my human form. He laughed and marveled and told me stories about his travels. In the end, he even shared his great sorrow with me. The unspeakable thing you saw through his looking lens. I was awed and frightened, but swore to help him in any way I could. As of now, that includes helping the two of you. Alright, well, it was good catching up with you, Arhu. Uh, we'll take my leave. Oh, before you go, here. Take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry though. Use this one here and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to say hello. Will do. Okay, so we need to talk to each other. Uh, let's look at our log first. Uh, let's see. The plot thickens. Arhu told us that Counselor Jake collected Starstone. He is quite right. When he says that it can hardly be a coincidence that Jake collected the one thing that both we and scheming sorcerers are after. Could the reason for his murder be linked to his collection? Uh, let's see. Upon returning to Rivalon from the end of time, we met Arhu, who turns out to be Zigzags' agent upon this world. According to him, the sorcerers we seek are also after Starstone, and it would be in the interest of all if we beat them to it. And last but not least, the teleporter pyramids. Arhu presented us with a teleporter pyramid, but he seems to have misplaced his companion. We can find the second pyramid by using the one in our possession. Okay, before we do that, let's uh, talk to each other, and then we'll talk to Medora. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. Uh, why am I answering for her? Okay, we'll have to figure out what she would say. Uh, she's, she kind of rubs me the wrong way, so it's easy enough to gain new strength when one is, I think she'll say it, when one is carrying entire teams on one's shoulders. It's easy enough to gain new strength when one is carrying an entire team on one's shoulders. Okay, the team hardly enjoys being confused. Oh, he's going to say it. Sorry. The team hardly enjoys being confused with your massive wobbling head. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, and Medora? Unknown to all time, are you? <laughs> Leave it to an imp to try to fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. I'll tell you who you are. Source hunters. Members of the most esteemed order in Rivalon. Here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There. The enigma is solved. Very astute. Uh, if what Zigzag says is true and we really are affecting the tapestry of time, I certainly want to know more. I knew you weren't the type to be taken in by such high-flying, pie-in-the-sky nonsense. Let the magical history imps fly their floating islands into the end of time <laughs> for all we care. Then again, if what he says is true, and he really does know everything, he might be a mighty powerful ally to have. Imagine! 
Sorry, Zack Six, I haven't fixed your space carpet, <laughs> but if you could tell me where the bearded source dragon of Fire Lake has made its nest, I'd be obliged. <laughs> Useful indeed. So, Medora always comes off fairly close minded, but. Um, did you talk to her though? She's she's willing to kind of change a little bit. Okay, so let's head back to the. Oh no, let's find our pyramid. I should have cleaned up my inventory in the off time, but I didn't. Chloe, do you have the other one? No, we have it. Oh my God! What is going on here? First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? It's so our who's. <laughs> spying on her. That doesn't surprise me in the least. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the reason. Sorry, my lady. I came by way of a magical pyramid and did not know where I would end up. She's way more reasonable than we are. And just one more and we lose. Okay. She's a badass. A magical pyramid, eh? Frivolous and lecherous magic, more like. Leave my house. Before the divines punish you for your aberrant ways. Yeah, we just need to pick up our other pyramid. Uh, Chloe, you take it. Oh, take it. Me, no, a fight. if you please. All right, all right. This We're leaving. Private. We are leaving. You got in your barrels outside, though. Take that. Okay, well, we're right outside the bar now. So with these pyramids, basically, just like it did, we can teleport back and forth. It's a really cool game mechanic, uh, particularly if you're playing with somebody else. Okay, let's go back to that room. You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward money won't be lining your pockets. Not that one. Source was in play here, all right, but that doesn't solve the mystery. Okay, we got. I think it would be wise to inspect the counselor's corpse and see what clues we can find. Okay, yeah, well, we got the inert stone, so that was star stone. It's now inert. We'll take it anyways. Uh, painting of a woman's worth a lot of money, so we're just gonna steal that. Painting of a rooster. And what have we got in this chest? Can I? Yeah, okay, I can pick it. Letter from the Duke of Farrell. Dearest Esme, your lips are as red as emeralds. Your hair is as black as birch. Your love is like cholesterol, oh, and oh, my heart, it hurts. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head, and all this would be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. Forever yours, the D of F. Interesting. It's official. The Duke of Farrell is the worst poet in Rivalon. In his defense, not much rhymes with murder. Okay, so he was the one having an affair with Esmeralda, sounds like. We've got the teleporter pyramids done. Counselor's wife. At the scene of the crime, we find a letter from the Duke of Farrell to Esmeralda. They must have had quite the romance, but was it enough to instigate the murder of Counselor Jake? Well, he kind of called for the murder, Counselor Jake. Uh, let's see if we can talk to the bartender. Ah, too welcome to the King Crab Inn, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have I'm a seat and stay a while. I'm just gonna sell you some of your paintings that you, uh, had in your room. You can have them back. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, tell me about yourself, Yvad. The name's Yvad. Yvad. Pleased to yeah. make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travelers of Sicil drink and rest for nearly two decades now, but the king crab's older than that by a long shot. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great grandpappy Horatius Dunganess's noble vision. Beer and naps for everyone. No questions asked. Well, beer and naps never really get old, so it's not a bad business model. Uh, how's business around here? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the, uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that pinch. Yeah, but what do you know about the murder? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? 
Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Well, still, tell me about the night of the murder. That room where it happened. It was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. Okay. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window, but I saw nary a soul when I looked out. You can bet I hightailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Yeah, well, it sounds like Esmeralda comes here often, um, just like that, so it's not a good sign. It's not good for her. Uh, do you suspect anyone? Counselor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell. A high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Okay, we'll go talk to him. I think he's the guy that uh, Medora was arguing with. He called her a potato-eating peasant. Uh, how about these three sailors? Do you have any work for them? Three hopeless sailors. Truly wish I could help you, but I'm barely keeping afloat as it is. Well, if you can't hire them, they're going to be sent into the... Uh, that was five. Right, I'm gonna go check out your basement. You fault, so okay, you got a poison gas cloud. Look out! I see a trap nearby. And he saw a trap somewhere. That might have been it. Oh. Okay. Indeed it was. Rat, come here. Jake. But I didn't see her here the night of the murder. Then again, she might have just gotten a new pair of shoes. Okay, that's not very helpful. Is that just going to keep shooting? It is, so then I can't get to the chest. Uh, I wonder if we could get rid of the water. That was kind of a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Um, let me see. Uh, we got any fire bombs? Here we go. See if it'll turn it into steam at least, and maybe it'll clear out a little bit. Homegrown hotness. Uh, I think the water's still there. It is. All right, we'll try to figure that out. Uh, we slid his whole basement on fire, though, so that's sucky for him. Nothing but rubbish. Okay, he's got a chest that's locked. We don't need that. Blank witchcraft scroll. Okay, nice. So we can actually make uh, scrolls, so that now that we've got the witchcraft scroll, we can make a witchcraft spell. Already looked there. Okay, let's try to see if we can deal with this poison gas cloud. Ready to advance, ready to defend. I don't know which one of these rats we talked to already. Yeah, it's good to know. All right, we could clear that away with some fire. Oh God, evil from my blood. Okay, that's not good. I feel better already. 
Oops, that doesn't clear poison. This does. Oh, we have poison resistance. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, that was a huge, huge mistake. My heart beats too slowly to sustain me. Well, we did clear away the poison. Let's see if we can't throw a. Damn it. I need a remedy. Oh, I think we're dead here. Indeed we are. Alright, I am going to have to do a flash forward and I will, uh... Actually, we just did all the save for us. Okay, I need to not step on the plate. Let's unhook here. Hold. Our enemies have laid a trap. Can you go ahead and get through it? Okay, put that on top of there. Clear yourself. Heal yourself. Everyone else is gonna have to stay outside for now. I don't trust. Knit, skin heals. Don't trust having them in there. That's locked, but we got a key. Uh, let's probably do the other chest though. Luckily, that other trap hasn't been take hasn't been went off yet since we reloaded the save. Let's see if that keys for this one. Not. Son of a bitch. will be over soon. Well, we may need to go back in there to find the key. It's like we can talk to each other again. <sighs> Things got pretty hairy there for a bit. I could feel the very Reaper breathing down my neck. So I need to try to talk in the reverse, I guess, because she's not talking for herself anymore. Davith is. Uh, let's see. And you'd be feeling nothing no more if it wasn't for the healing spell. Gods, I'm tired of babysitting you. That sounds like her. And you'd be feeling nothing no more if it wasn't for my healing spell. Gods, I'm tired of babysitting you. And I, in turn, am sorry you feel that way. For I appreciated your support very much. I really did, Chloe. I really appreciated it. Okay, let's check out in here. Okay, so there's the key to the other chest. I'll have to figure out how to get back in there. Nice. Summon Ice Elemental. It's a lucky find. Empty bottles are good. Empty potion bottles are better. Crazy. So if you were playing on the honor mode right now, you just your game would be over. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't want to die. Got enough potatoes. All right, let's try to unhook here and see if we can get to this other chest without setting off the trap. Careful now. That's a trap. Inert wooden wand. Okay, that's something used for crafting. Uh, we could... We want that. Iron ore and identifying glass. Don't you step on that. <laughs> okay, good. Pick up this crap again. Why 
while he's doing that. Chloe, can you come heal him? The, the loot will be a little different this time, I think. Like, it's a different roll every time. Uh, I could be wrong on that, though. Um. Nice. Okay, we'll have to identify this stuff, which I don't think we can do yet, because we don't have uh, Lore Master. We will eventually. All right, I'm going to try this again. Cast this on us, so we'll be immune to poison. In theory. And I'll walk through carefully. Still poisoned, but do that. Okay. Let's open up this chest, and some more stuff to identify, gold, and a resurrect scroll. Walk out carefully. Wait, yeah. You, you, you idiot! <laughs> uh, that's alright, you can just bring him back to life. Find a scroll for that. Get in there. Okay, well that wasn't really fun, but it's done. Go talk to the D of F. D of F. Well, actually, let's run in here and talk to this old dude real quick. We're all stealing in here. Okay. Greetings, traveler. And may the immaculate conduits mini that's enough of that now. Alright, sorry about that. I thought I was behind you. Can you distract him again? Glorious to see you once more, fair friend. I hope you've given some thought to my revelation. I think Nothing. only of your eternal soul, after all. Well, I missed what you were talking about the first time, because you were busy yelling at Chloe. Uh, but tell me about yourself. What's in a name, dear friend? For Don't mind that bush over there. we equal in the conduit's eyes, and only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. Well, what revelation do you mean? You mean you haven't heard? The bird's the word? Oh! I have what not. fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus. By following her instructions, and becoming initiated into the one way we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Could tell me more about this conduit. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess where all living souls are naturally inclined. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. What do you mean by the one way? Ah, for this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silver Glen, where all may be revealed. There. Among her followers and friends dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Okay, I think this is that sect that Arhu was worried Go about. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Alright, I'll try to remember that. 
We'll see you, Francis. Okay, let's talk to the DFF. Look careful now. Your head's grown more swollen. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. All right, tell me about yourself, Duke. I am the Duke of Ferrell. Though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by now. Uh, not really. Well, a little bit. I've heard quite the story involving you and Esmeralda. Yes, she and I have a history. That's hardly a secret anymore. I quite doubt it was even a secret from Jake while he lived. That's unfortunate for Jake. It's a little bit of a cuck, I guess. As easy as it would be to pin suspicions on Esmeralda or I, I assure you that the affair was never so steamy and sordid as the busybodies around town make it out to be. Jake and Esmeralda had no great affection for each other. He had his interests, she had hers, and there was little passion left between them. Certainly not enough to fuel a murder. Yes, well, what can you tell me about this love letter you wrote? Which one? I've written Esmeralda more works of lyrical mastery than I can count. All that letter proves is my devotion to my lady, not any actual intention to do away with Jake. Okay, well, what do you know about the murder itself? It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. I'll take my leave, Duke. He certainly didn't, uh, confess or anything. So, let's go talk to Esmeralda now. It's about time we interview her. Uh, Chloe, can you, uh, heal Davith a little bit? We don't have any log updates yet, do we? No. Esmeralda's shop's over this way. Empty bottles, take those. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Volume 3. Uh, patty cake, patty cake. Dough, the happy child of water and wheat, serves as the base for many a hearty and filling meal. With a lump of dough in one hand and either apples, cheese, fish, or tomato sauce in the other, supper is sure to delight. Okay, apple pie dough. Is that all we got? Or is it just closed? Because we... Apple pie dough might have been the only new one. I actually am going to get into a little more food this time around, because I think I'm probably missing out on something. Come here, chicken. What on earth would an undertaker want with the likes of Hoggett? That's right, the Hoggett thing. Leave me be, I have a job to do. Uh, roger that. Okay, Septimus. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. And you are? I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Cecile from day one. Alas. Both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. Tell us, what do you think of Esmeralda? So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. 
and I hold no such proof exists. All right, well, you're here just to guard her, not to judge her. Uh, let's discuss the murder. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well-loved in all of Sicil. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heart-rending. You claim to possess evidence that implicates Lady Esmeralda in the murder of her husband? Well, let's have it then. I don't think I made any such claim, but uh, why don't you take a look at this letter? Hmm. Let me have a quick read. Wait, what? There's another... I mean, she had an admirer who wanted her to kill her husband, then elope with him? What madness is this? It cannot be true! <laughs> I assure you, Septimus, it is. And what questions are those? Well, tell me about Sicil in general. The Sicilians used to say this was a chosen place, favored by the higher powers. But they don't talk like that much these days. Hard to feel favored with such horrors haunting every border, I imagine. What about the undead? Don't even mention those rotten carcasses to me. They're the reason we've been stuck in this dead-end town for nigh on two bloody years. All fun and games in the beginning, but just you lose a couple of friends fighting those fiends. Get used to lousy rations and have but drink and dice for entertainment. And you'll soon come to realize that out of hundreds of cohorts the world round, yours drew the short straw. But you don't really have a positive outlook, my friend. But I guess he had a brother killed here, so... Alright, Esmeralda. Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband? How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Who are you, even though we know? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor, but his one and only princess just the same. So you're a bit of a gold digger then. Well, let's discuss the murder. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? Well, it's not looking good, but I don't really necessarily believe you've done it so far. So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and <laughs> you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Well, this love letter I found does seem slightly incriminating. Oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. <laughs> That's weird that you threw that in there. Um, but it... So maybe she wasn't having an affair with him. Maybe he just was pursuing her. Though it sounded like she was making frequent trips to the inn. Uh, maybe it was with Septimus. Though he doesn't seem the type either. Now, I've been told your husband collected something called Starstone. Care to elaborate? Starstone? I've never heard of such a thing. Dear Jake had a mineral collection, yes. As far as I knew, it was one of his pastimes. Nothing more. Do you mean to imply he collected something dangerous? Something that may have gotten him into trouble. Oh, this is all too much. I feel like I'm drifting from nightmare into nightmare. Well, calm down. I didn't really imply anything. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Well, what do you want to know? The town. Well, there are certainly some uh, interesting creatures running around these days. Orcs are only the tip of the brutish iceberg. Don't forget the murderous bones along the northern gate. And if the rumors are right, the ghosts in the Black Cove. How's that old expression? When the blood spills, it pours. I don't know that that's quite it, but uh, how about the undead? They're nightmare incarnate, aren't they? Let a priest explain that to me. How we all supposedly become the gods' children in death, when in fact foul magic can bring us back and make us haunt our own kin in endless, mindless deviance. That's, yeah, that's a good way to put it. She seems to be quite adamant about Assure her innocence. Assure me, dear Septimus, we'll need to that you have evidence that we want to prove she actually orcs. did the evil deed. Okay, well, let's go check out her bedroom. Let's look at our log real quick. 
We legionnaires are highly trained soldiers who... Uh, at the scene of the crime, we found a love letter from the Duke of Feral Esmeralda. They must have had quite the romance, but was it enough to instigate the murder of Counselor Jake? Let's go upstairs so I don't have to listen to them. But Esmeralda dismissed the Duke of Feral's love letter as the ravings of a lovelorn fool. It seems that the case against Esmeralda remains threadbare at best. Uh, Esmeralda said she didn't commit the murder, but we'd be fools to take her word for it. We had better see if we can find some actual evidence that conclusively links her to her husband's death. Okay. Esmeralda, I'm going to rob you blind. So, don't judge me too much. Smelly panties. <laughs> Uh, a pox on the developer who put this in here. I mean, I'm going to take them because you get plus one charisma. But why couldn't they be like sexy panties or <laughs> something else? But hey, we got one plus one charisma. So we'll take it. Well, we've also got a lot of gems here that are worth different amounts of money. So we're just going to rob all that. Jake's dead, so I don't need it. Actually, I think you can use a lot of these for crafting, so it might not be in our best interest to sell those. We'll take a key to your house. Now this is valuable. Maybe you should clean out these cobwebs a little bit, though. Charming arrow, that's actually a really good find. Alright, she doesn't really have anything left in the bedroom. So the next thing we needed to do was to look at the body. So let's go... Yeah, let's go to the graveyard and I think we can look at it there. Actually, we're going to go and end the episode here. On the way to the graveyard though... Uh, we'll be in the graveyard when we get there. But while we're walking there, I guess I will say uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is like I said, this is one of my favorite games uh, in a long time, so I'm really glad to be going through it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I, I know you have a choice in where you watch your Divinity Original Sin Let's Plays, and I thank you for choosing One Night Sniper. Peace out, everyone.